Mills is on the road with the Spartans, and he joins us now live from Syracuse once again with the preview. Jack. Well, Larry, they say big things come in small packages, and for Michigan State, Tum Tum Naren, the smallest player on the roster, has taken on a very big role late in the season. At 5'10", 170 pounds, Tum Tum may be small in stature, but those numbers hardly reflect the size of his heart, and his positive attitude seems to be rubbing off on his coach. Tum's excited to be alive. <laughs> you know, he just is. I mean, every day, it's, it's a great day. How you doing, Tom? It's a great day, coach. I said, would you have a miserable day like the rest of us once in a while? You know, he just doesn't do it. He just, he's got an incredible discipline, but I think he has incredible appreciation. And if I would have grown up in the areas he did, I probably would too. Izzo's decision to insert the freshman point guard into the starting lineup has sparked the Spartans, Travis Trice in particular. Trice's energy and shot have improved a great deal with Naren taking over at the point. And the selflessness with which Trice accepted his new role well, that made a big impression. I don't know if if anywhere else in the country a senior point guard would, would take a freshman point guard under his wing like like Travis Trice did for me. And even when I came, became the starting point guard, him coming off the bench, you know, I never I never felt any negativity towards me between me and him. It was always the same thing. Another of Naren's mentors is Oklahoma guard Buddy Heald, the Big 12 Player of the Year. The two took similar paths to this Sweet 16 matchup. They both grew up in the Bahamas and were high school teammates at Sunrise Christian Academy in Kansas. Naren's first college offer came from Oklahoma. But tonight, when they take the court, friendships will be set aside. When we're setting them home up. That's the main goal for us, to, to win the game and to advance. Um, obviously, however it goes, I'm, if he wins, I'm going to be happy for him. But our main goal is to, to win and advance. <laughs> Michigan State, Oklahoma tips off 10 o'clock tonight. Now, Tom Izzo said that's no big deal. Both teams have to deal with it, but he did have one of the lines of the night. He did say when we talked to him yesterday that he's not of the age of Judd Heathcote where he's going to have to set an alarm clock on the bench. Tom Izzo as loose as ever here in Syracuse. Live in Syracuse, Jack Doles, 24-hour news 8. Uh, indeed. Thanks, Jack. Enjoy the game, and we hope to have you uh, preview another one for us on Sunday. Enjoy the game.